Okay, g'day everyone, welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to be showing you how to reverse a payment or delete a payment that has been applied to a purchase. Right, so let's go in and have a look at the purchase register. And we can see this purchase here that has been entered, it's open, so it hasn't been paid. Let's go have a look. Okay, let's process the payment now. So business bank account one, we apply the money there. Out of balance zero, we hit record. Okay, we'll close out of that. Okay, so you've applied the payment to the bill in Myob, but then after that at some point you've realized that uh, you've made a mistake. Maybe you put in the wrong date for the payment. Maybe you processed the payment against the wrong bill. Or maybe it just hadn't been paid at all and you just didn't know what you were doing. But for whatever reason, you've realized later that the payment was incorrectly processed against the bill and now has to be removed. Because it's mucking up your reports and it's mucking up your bank rec. So there's a few ways you can get into it. You can access the payments through the reporting module. So if you're in a profit and loss or account transactions, transactions or something like that, you can click into the transaction on the report and go in that way. Uh, you can also do a search, find transactions, and go account, advanced, all accounts. Make sure the dates are open up wide enough to pick up the transaction. And we know that it was for 2099, so we're going to search for that exact amount. Okay, there it is. But probably the easiest way to get to it is just to go back into the purchase register. So we can go into here, and we can see the offender here and we can see it says closed so that means it's paid we're going to click in and have a look at the bill we can have a look here to have a look at the actual pdf if we want to do that but to get to the payment we can see here applied to date 2099 balance due zero we know that's incorrect so we're going to click on history and here we can see the purchase and below that we can see the payment so we're going to go have a look at the payment there it is on the 25th 2099 was paid to purchase number one. That's the invoice number. So we can't see any delete or undo buttons here, but where it is tucked away is in the file menu up here. So we go to edit to the drop down there, go delete payment. And now we can see the payment line is gone, but the purchase line still remains. But we're going to back out and go have a look at the purchase register. Here we are. We just deleted the payment, so we're going to do a refresh and closed. The status here should change from closed to open. Let's have a look. There we go. Beautiful. We'll have another look inside, and we can see apply to date zero, balance due. The full amount is still due. So now that we've removed the payment, this will show up again on your accounts payables or your creditors reports. And because we deleted the payment, that will be uh, removed as an uncleared item in your bank rec. And your reports will now be accurate again. So that's it for the video, guys. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in our description. You can go over to the website, book in a tailored training session, whatever you want to do, we can help you with it. If you want to see more Myob videos, go have a look at the rest of our channel. We've got a bunch of videos up there that could be of help. But other than that, I hope you've learned something. And we'll catch you later.